I'd just like to talk to you about my photography exhibition. So um, it all started off when I started researching into child portraiture by the famous Lewis Carroll, the author of Alice in Wonderland. And I really liked the um, way the photographs just conveyed such an eerie quality. Like, as you looked at it, you thought that the children could see you and they were looking back at you, and I felt that quite creepy to see as a viewer. And as soon as I saw those photographs, I realized that I'd really like to produce some work that conveyed that feeling too, of being watched by the subject in the photo. And so that's when I started working on these photographs and this piece and the idea of a young girl and exploring how children and their imaginations can become quite warped and twisted because they don't have a full understanding of many of the concepts of their surroundings. So with this here, I was also inspired by the time of Lewis Carroll. And so there were quite a lot of optical illusion toys that happened around here. And so I call this the carousel, even though it's not actually a carousel. Um, and it's based off the designs of praxinoscopes and kinescopes that were used by children of that era to see animation and movement. So there are three parts to this work. At the top, um, I was really interested in lenticular printing. Unfortunately, I, didn't, I wasn't able to get a digital copy because they're quite expensive. So I decided to go the traditional way and create wooden triangular blocks that you then place the images on one side of two. So there's one image on all of these sides and another image on that side. And so as you move around this work, it'll change and transform. Kind of like an animation, but still. And then with this work, um, also around the theme of transformation, I wanted to explore the themes of genetic manipulation and through kind of clinical and medicinal methods that seem quite creepy and odd. And so you can see slowly as the subject tries to transform herself, she becomes consumed by the process. And then with this work, I wanted to show the combination of two images into one. And so when you spin this mechanism, it combines the two. So if I just show you. Changing herself 